In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement date picker in Android. First of all, we can go to the resources layout and activity main XML part. Go to the split mode and we'll be changing the parent layout to linear layout. We can also set an orientation of vertical. Set a gravity to center. We can also set a padding of 20 dp. Now we can remove the text view and add the date picker. We can give an ID for the date picker. Here you can see that by default we are having a calendar view. So we can change it to a spinner. So for that we can type date picker mode and we can set it to spinner. We can either set it to calendar or spinner. Okay, we can set it to spinner. Now we are having a spinner and also a small calendar on the right. We can disable the calendar because we already did a video on calendar view. So we'll be either publishing it after this video or before this video. I don't know. So you can subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. So we can disable the calendar view. So for that calendar view shown and we can set it to false. Okay. Now we are only having the spinner. Okay, and we also need a button. So on clicking the button, we'll be collecting the date from the date picker. So create a button. Warp content, warp content, close the button. All tender and we can type collapse empty tag. And give an ID for the button. We can also set an text for the button. Okay, so our view is almost complete. So we simply need a date picker and a button. Okay, you need to make sure the ID is correct and you have to remember this ID. Okay, now go to main activity Java part and here we have to create an object for the date picker. Date picker and create the object date picker and also for the button. So button, button. Now we can initialize the objects. So come to the on create method and date picker equal to find view by ID r dot id dot then give the ID of the date picker that is date picker itself. So if you are having any doubt with the ID you can go to the activity main and you can check the ID here. Okay. So the ID is date picker itself. Okay. So use the ID here. Now initialize the button. Button equal to find view by id r dot id dot then give the button id that is btn submit we have to set an on click listener for the button also so button dot set on click listener new we have to call the on click listener so view dot on click listener so you can see that here okay choose that now we are inside the on click function so here we can get the day month year from the date picker so let's create a string for day, month and year. So we can get the day. So day equal to, we can get the day like date picker dot get day of month. Okay, that will get the day. So you can see an error here. So that is because we have to convert this to string. So you can click here and type all tender. And it will show an option to warp using string dot value of. So simply click that. Okay, now that's all. Now we have to do the same for the month and year. So click here and type control D. And we can change day to month. And the next one to year. And inside this, we have to change the get day of month to get month. When we are getting the month, we have to add one to it. So give plus one. When we are reading a month, we have to add one. When we are setting the month, we have to subtract one. Okay. So always remember that. Okay. Now we have to get the year also. So get year. And that's all. So now we are having the day, month and year inside the string. So we can show this as a toast message. So toast and the suggestion does the task and inside this text we can call day 
plus give this tilt and again a plus call the month give the tilt option and plus and the year and that's all so this is our toast message hope you can see the code properly so we are making the toast message with day slash month slash year so we can try running this code and check if it is working so that's all with the implementation so we can run this so we can see the app has launched so this is the date picker now we can select january so we can select the date or month like this okay so you can see we can simply click here and drag to the top or bottom okay we can select the month january and the date like one okay we can see that the month is automatically changing when we change the date so we can change the month to january itself and the year to 2023 okay now we can click on the button submit and the toast message is showing one slash one slash 2023 okay so the implementation is complete hope you understand how to use the date picker on android and if you want the complete source code of any video that we do on this channel you can come to this url i'll give the link on the description you can check that out and you can simply download the source code from here i'll upload the source code after publishing the video so you can come here and simply download it so hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos